Step 1. Learn vocabulary. Accountant. An accountant is a person whose job is to keep financial accounts. The accountant helped me keep track of my money. Capitalist. A capitalist is a business person who invests in trade and industry for profit. The capitalist invested in a factory that made wheat into cereal. Contempt. Contempt is the feeling of having no respect for something. The judge had contempt for the wicked criminal. Dedicate. To dedicate oneself to something means to put a lot of time and effort into it. The nun dedicated herself to helping people in need. Ditch. A ditch is a narrow hole cut into the ground by a road or a field. When the car slid off of the road, it fell into the ditch. Enterprise. An enterprise is a company or business. My father owns an advertising enterprise. Exquisite. When something is exquisite, it is very beautiful or pleasant. The artist made exquisite watercolor paintings. Finance. To finance someone or something means to provide money for them. The government financed the scientists' experiments with new weapons. Indifferent. When someone is indifferent towards something, they have a lack of interest in it. Lisa is indifferent towards school. She doesn't care what her final grades are. Irrigate. To irrigate means to supply water to land so that crops can grow. In dry climates, it is important to irrigate fields of crops. Maximize. To maximize something is to make it great in amount, size, or importance. You should exercise regularly to maximize a healthy lifestyle. Monetary. When something is monetary, it relates to money. A strong monetary policy is important for a country to be successful. Precaution. A precaution is an action that is meant to stop something bad from happening. As a precaution, you should put on a heavy coat before going out in cold weather. Preliminary. Preliminary describes something that happens before a more important event. The runners must do well in the preliminary races to qualify for the final race. Saturate. To saturate something means to completely soak it with a liquid. The sponge was saturated with soapy water and dripped all over the floor. Simplicity. The simplicity of something is the fact that it is easy to do or understand. We were able to find the house thanks to the simplicity of the directions. Sow. To sow seeds means to plant them in the ground. He always sows his garden seeds in the springtime. Soy. Soy is a food made from soybeans, such as flour or butter. Soy can be made into tofu, sauce, and also milk. Spade. A spade is a tool used for digging. The gardener used her spade to make a hole for the seed. Upcoming. When something is upcoming, that means it will happen in the near future. The kids were worried about their upcoming exam. Step 2. Listen to the story without subtitles. Life on the Farm Bill was an excellent capitalist. He financed a large aviation enterprise that made a lot of money. He knew how to maximize monetary gains in every business deal he made. Bill had one big problem, though. He was unhappy all the time. Bill knew that he had to do something about it, or he would be depressed for the rest of his life. One day, Bill was in his office when he heard a knock at the door. Come in, Bill said loudly. His accountant, Jane, walked in. Jane said, Sir, I haven't seen you smile in a year. What are you so sad about? Your company is doing very well, Bill told her. 
I'm indifferent about my company's success. I have contempt toward my job. I just want to do something I enjoy. I've always loved growing plants as a hobby. I'm going to quit my job and become a farmer. You're crazy, Jane said. I don't think so, Bill replied. I want the simplicity of a life on a farm. I'm tired of all this stress. Farming will make me happy. The very next day, Bill carried out the preliminary task of buying land and tools. Then he got to work. He sowed many types of seeds. He planted soy, cabbage, carrots, and onions. The upcoming summer is going to be very dry, thought Bill. I need to irrigate my crops as a precaution, in case it doesn't rain enough. He took his spade and dug a ditch down the middle of his farm. Water from the stream will flow down the ditch and saturate the soil around every plant, Bill thought. Bill dedicated himself to farming. After a year, his farm looked exquisite. Most importantly, Bill was happy. He finally had the life he always wanted. Step 3. Listen to the story with subtitles. Life on the Farm Bill was an excellent capitalist. He financed a large aviation enterprise that made a lot of money. He knew how to maximize monetary gains in every business deal he made. Bill had one big problem, though. He was unhappy all the time. Bill knew that he had to do something about it, or he would be depressed for the rest of his life. One day, Bill was in his office when he heard a knock at the door. Come in, Bill said loudly. His accountant, Jane, walked in. Jane said, Sir, I haven't seen you smile in a year. What are you so sad about? Your company is doing very well. Bill told her, I'm indifferent about my company's success. I have contempt toward my job. I just want to do something I enjoy. I've always loved growing plants as a hobby. I'm going to quit my job and become a farmer. You're crazy, Jane said. I don't think so, Bill replied. I want the simplicity of a life on a farm. I'm tired of all this stress. Farming will make me happy. The very next day, Bill carried out the preliminary task of buying land and tools. Then he got to work. He sowed many types of seeds. He planted soy, cabbage, carrots, and onions. The upcoming summer is going to be very dry, thought Bill. I need to irrigate my crops as a precaution, in case it doesn't rain enough. He took his spade and dug a ditch down the middle of his farm. Water from the stream will flow down the ditch and saturate the soil around every plant, Bill thought. Bill dedicated himself to farming. After a year, his farm looked exquisite. Most importantly, Bill was happy. He finally had the life he always wanted. Step 4. Answer the questions. 1. What did the accountant say when Bill said he would stop being a capitalist and become a farmer? 2. What did Bill have contempt toward? 3. What was the result of Bill dedicating himself to his exquisite farm? 4. What preliminary task did Bill perform? 5. What simplicity was important for Bill to get rid of his stress? Bonus. Mark each statement T for true or F for false. Rewrite the false statements to make them true. 1. Bill could maximize monetary gains in the aviation enterprise that he financed. 2. Bill was indifferent about the farm's success. 3. Bill irrigated his crops as a precaution for the upcoming rain in summer. 4. Bill dug a ditch with a spade. 5. Bill sowed seeds and saturated the soy and cabbage plants. Answer key. Answer the questions. 1. You're crazy. 2. Bill had contempt toward his job. 3. Bill was happy. 4. Buying land and tools. 5. The simplicity of a life on a farm. Bonus. 1. T. 2. F. Bill was indifferent about the company's success. 3. 
F. Bill irrigated his crops as a precaution for the upcoming dry summer. 4. T. 5. F. Bill sowed seeds and planted soy and cabbage.